You can make an extremely satisfying dinner-sized chicken Caesar salad by simply roasting the chicken on top of bread. The bread becomes the croutons, chicken fat croutons. Get yourself any kind of baking tray. For four meal-sized portions, I'd say at least a pound and a half, 700 grams of skin-on, bone-in, dark meat chicken pieces. Thighs are my preference, but you could use legs. I'll show you what those would look like. I would not attempt to do this with breast meat. White meat would turn into chalk with this method. Enough olive oil to coat, a ton of salt, we're seasoning more than just the chicken here, and a ton of pepper. I like some dried sage on roast chicken too, and only because I'm already going to be using it in the dressing, I might as well grate in the zest of this lemon I have. Toss to get everything really well coated, and then bread, like half a pound of any bread, 225 grams. This is stale leftover bread, which is of course what croutons were originally invented to utilize, and I have torn it into a couple of big flat boats, upon which will sail my chicken pieces. I'm trying to get the bread as covered with chicken as possible. And the chicken pieces are skin side up. That's important. My oven is already hot, 350 Fahrenheit, 180C. Convection if you've got it. The skin will keep the meat from drying out, and the chicken will keep the bread from burning. So you can just leave that in there for like an hour and a half. This is easy, but it's not quick. Halfway through, you might move the pieces around. Just if you've got some bread that isn't covered in chicken, you don't want that to burn, so move the chicken on top. And I just want to roast this meat until I can pull it apart like barbecue, which of course only dark meat does. Now I guess I can just chill because I'm not making the dressing. My friend Ben is. Hey Adam. This is Benjamin R. Harrison's famous Caesar dressing that he talked about recently on his hugely popular Star Trek rewatch podcast. It's called The Greatest Generation. You should subscribe. I write the music for them. It's super goofy. Captain Captain Welcome to the greatest generation. Very simple, this dressing is. He's got a couple of big garlic cloves. If you know anything about eating raw garlic, you know that's going to be a lot. Ben does not use the traditional mustard, so the garlic is the pungency. A big squeeze of mayonnaise that's in place of the traditional raw egg, which skeezes a lot of people out. Please don't be skeezed out by the two anchovy fillets. I swear this dressing will not taste fishy, especially not with the juice of this lemon. Check Ben rolling it to bust up some of its internal structure, thus making it easier to squeeze. That's a big lemon, even though it doesn't look like it because Ben is a big man with big hands. With a smaller lemon, I'd use the whole thing. He's using half. Maybe twice as much olive oil as he has lemon juice in there, and then a shot of Worcestershire sauce. That brand is thickened with cornstarch. Yours does not have to be thickened. A pinch of salt? Just go easy at first. The Worcestershire sauce and the anchovies are very salty. Then a ton of pepper. And hit it with a stick. You could mince up the garlic and anchovies fine with a knife, but the stick is super easy. Yes, some Real Science says blender blades can create bitter flavors and extra virgin olive oil, but the effect is pretty subtle and would be easily blown away by the extremely strong flavor of this. All right, dude, all done. Oh, oh, sorry, thank you. I was just scanning my grocery receipt with the sponsor of this video, Fetch Rewards. Fetch is a stupid easy app that you can use to earn free rewards on anything you buy. It's not just groceries, it's any retail receipt. You just hit the scan button and the app tells you where to hold the camera, done. Upload, and yay, you get points. Basically gift cards you could use at a billion places. Restaurants, gaming, Amazon. If you shop online, it's even easier. You hit the e-receipt button and it just scans your email for for any eligible receipts that you may have been sent. If it finds one, boom, points, free points. It's all free. Get 3,000 free points when you sign up with my link in the description and use my code Ragusia when you enter your first receipt. Download the app now, use my name, get 3,000 points on your first receipt. That's a limited time offer for you. Thank you, Fetch. My chicken is brown. It feels soft when I poke it. It's done. Dark meat, you can cook pretty much as long as you want to. Out those pieces come to a plate where they can cool so that I can pull them apart later. I find that roasting the bread in big chunks helps keep it from overheating and developing burned flavors. However, we now have to chop it up into whatever size croutons we like and then return them to the pan to crisp up a little bit more while we finish the salad. Leave those crumbs behind. They'll only burn. I'll taste one of those for seasoning. Needs way more salt. If you're feeling naughty, you could drop in some butter and back in the oven. Just remember to reach in and stir those every now and then until they are crisp as you want them. Okay, lettuce. Caesar salad is traditionally made with romaine 
green lettuce. If you had a big, fresh one, that'd be enough for four dinners. This is a small, not terribly fresh one, so I bought a second. When they're not fresh, you have to discard the wilted outer leaves. Hey, lettuce is dirty. The leaves grow up through the dirt. I prefer to tear my leaves into bite-sized pieces and then wash them. You can chop salad. People say that bruises the leaves more. Tearing theoretically pulls them apart along their cellular walls, as opposed to just cutting through those walls with a knife. It certainly doesn't matter if you're doing this shortly before dinner. I just tear because it's easier to control. Little pretty leaves like that, I want to leave whole. Into the sink, and the way I like to do this is just submerge everything in a very big bowl, swish it around, and then lift the lettuce up and out into a strainer. All the sand has settled to the bottom of the bowl. We are lifting the lettuce up and away from it. Dry your lettuce on a towel, but for what it's worth, we started eating a lot more salad a few years ago once we got a salad spinner. It's a cheap thing. It's just a centrifuge that sends the water flying out to the outer bowl. It is so easy and effective, and dry lettuce holds dressing so much better. Into a big mixing bowl, and this is my little salad trick. Mince up a couple of shallots pretty fine. It's not like biting into a giant slice of raw onion in a salad. You don't even notice it per se. It just sends this subtle, uniform, fresh pungency through the leaves. I can handle the chicken now without frying my fingers off, so first I'm pulling the skin off. This is why I prefer thighs to legs. The skin comes off much more easily. And you don't have to do this, but yeah, I'm gonna put those skins in with the croutons to get hot and crispy. Beautiful moist meat underneath. You pull it apart with your fingers and you can feel around for chunks of cartilage or any slimy bits, anything you don't want to eat. And obviously you can take out the bones. I recommend big pieces of meat because they'll break apart some more when you toss your salad. I like to get the chicken coated in dressing along with the veg. Salads always need less dressing than you think because most of the volume here is just air, so be conservative. You can always mix in more. I like my salads very lightly dressed, which works perfect with the strong flavor of Ben's recipe here. Big handful of that onto a plate, one of those pretty little leaves from the heart. Now our super crunchy chicken fried croutons. Don't be afraid to pull them out of the oven when they still have some soft juicy spots on them. Those taste good and they get firmer as they cool. Some people put Parmesan into Caesar dressing. I'm just depositing some fresh shavings on top. Heterogeneity. And what would a salad be without a big crispy shard of chicken skin? I mean, Duh, that's just what salad is. It's science. Caesar salad is such a delightfully old-fashioned thing. It was invented in the 1920s by an Italian chef in Tijuana, and it has a delightful, roaring 20s decadence to it. This is surely one of the most decadent versions. Definitely not diet food, that salad. It's just good.